Okay, first alert, Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagen is here. We're getting ready for a little bit of a warm-up. Yeah, it's going to be kind of gradual over the mm -hmm. next several days, so it's not like we're cranking the thermostat all the way up all at once. It's going to be a very slow process, and then by the weekend, if you're inland, you're going to say... Hey, it's kind of warm out here. High pressure taking over in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That's the reason for the warm up. The storm system that was delivering cooler air to inland parts of the Bay Area for the past several days moving to the north. It actually brought thousands of lightning strikes to Oregon and Washington over the past 24 hours. But things are going to continue shifting. That high pressure building, so the warming trend is going to continue into next week. But the position of where that high pressure is is important because it's going to be centered off to our south and west. The onshore wind is going to continue. So temperatures around the Bay along the coast going to remain pretty close to what's normal for this time of year and we're not going to get those gusty offshore winds that would significantly elevate the fire threat just the warmer temperatures will have some impact on that high temperatures today were pretty close to what's normal for this time of year livermore maybe a degree or two below average reaching the mid 80s and that was one of the warm spots along with concord also at 86 degrees got up to 82 degrees in san jose and santa rosa upper 70s for fremont just above 70 in san francisco a nice august day with mid 60s along the coast in pacifica current temperatures still in the 60s along the coast mostly 70 70s around the bay. It's in the upper 60s for downtown San Francisco, but 74 at SFO. Temperatures inland, it's a mix of 70s and 80s, but the warm spot on the map is 86 degrees in Fairfield. And on an August evening, if the warm spot is below 90 degrees, we are just fine with that. We're going to see the fog reforming along the coast and spreading into the inland valleys as we head towards early tomorrow morning. But like this morning, it's going to dissipate pretty quickly, backing up towards areas around the bay by 9 or 10 o'clock and backing all the way up to the coast as we head towards lunchtime. Temperatures tonight dropping down to the mid to upper 50s to around 60 degrees. It's where we've started off every morning this week. It's where we'll start off again tomorrow morning. And then high temperatures inland are going to climb just a little bit more. Not much change around the bay. Still near 70 in San Francisco, still mid-70s for Oakland, but a degree or two above average for inland parts of the Bay Area. Mostly still in the 80s, mostly, but it's the beginning of that warming trend that is going to continue through the weekend into early next week. Mid-60s along the coast, once again, no change there either. Mostly 70s down the south end of the bay and around the peninsula. Temperatures inland in the Santa Clara Valley reaching the low to mid 80s in most locations, but up to around 90 degrees in Morgan Hill. And they're going to be more 90s far inland in the East Bay. East of the Diablo Range, that's where you have the best chance of climbing to above 90 degrees, but not too far above it. Most inland spots are going to be in the mid to upper 80s. Oakland in the East Bay, low to mid 70s, near, right at 70 degrees in San Francisco, with mostly low to mid 80s inland in the North Bay, also very close to normal for this time of year, just maybe a degree or two warmer than today. And even the hotter spots farther north, Clover Day, and Ukiah, Clear Lake, just barely topping out above 90 degrees. We are going to experience more of a change as we head through the weekend, but again, it's a slow increase in temperatures. Once that warmer air settles in, it's going to stick around for a while. The 6- to 10-day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center and the 8- to 14-day outlook, which takes us into late August, both show a significant chance of above average temperatures for not just the Bay Area, but most of California and most of the West Coast. The longer that hot air sticks around for inland parts of the Bay Area, the more it's going to cook the vegetation. But fortunately, tomorrow, as temperatures just return to what's normal for this time of year, the fire danger isn't going to be out of control. It's going to start off very low, thanks to that marine layer, which does add some moisture to the vegetation for inland parts of the Bay Area. So the highest values we're going to see tomorrow afternoon are going to be around a 3 or a 4 on our 0 to 10 scale. That could be a lot worse this time of year. But as that vegetation gradually dries out, we are going to see some higher numbers as the temperatures continue to warm up. Again, hardly any change for San Francisco and Oakland through the middle of next week. San Jose goes from the low 80s tomorrow and Friday to the upper 80s by Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Inland parts of the North Bay, a similar warm-up with inland parts of the East Bay experiencing the biggest warm-up from the upper 80s tomorrow and Friday to the mid-90s by Tuesday and Wednesday.